Hello and welcome. This is Japan. We're going to be ranking today all of the Pokemon games. I think I've played all of these. Um, if there's one I haven't played, I probably will mention it and then hopefully try not to give it too bad of a rating because of the changes. And some of them with the upgraded versions or the remakes, I'm going to maybe put them in the same tier. Because some of them, I don't remember exactly how the original one was. That's kind of my unfortunate brain with it. But, yeah, let's go Alpha Sapphire. I actually got Alpha Sapphire quite a bit, like, after its release. It had been a while. Um, I enjoyed it. I like they had the Wonder Trading still in it, so that definitely added up to a lot of the things. I'm going to put it in B tier. Uh, Alpha, uh, Sapphire in general, um, I didn't really quite like a lot of the stuff in it. The teams were okay, I, you know, Team Magma and... And uh, I can't even remember the other one right now. Um, they were cool, but like just not exactly what I was uh, looking forward to. Um, Pokemon Black version. I I never really quite enjoyed the story in those. I don't know why. Maybe it was because like I didn't really have a super strong connection to the starters. Like they had some good starters, but they're just not super strong. I probably put it in C tier, and I put Black two into it because I did only play. I want to say I would play Black 2, and then I played White 1 and 2. I don't remember playing Black, the original one. I don't know if there's much of a difference, so I'm going to put it there just to be on the safe side. Goddamn Pokemon Blue version. Now, the nostalgia is going to automatically make me rank this higher than probably most people would have it, but this is definitely an S-tier game. It was the second one I got. I got Red version to start, so we might as well find Red version and put it up there too, because you know it's going to go up there. Uh, automatically those games were just everything to me as a kid and started this love of Pokemon. And I, I just, to this day, so happy that this whole thing exists. And yeah, um, these were the original games. The sprites were super bad. Obviously it doesn't age well all the way now and they have remakes that are way better, but, um, yeah, they're going to be S tier just because like these ones are the games that started it all for me and I, I enjoy it. Uh, crystal version, I I freaking love crystal. I played gold and and you know like there were the other ones too, um, but crystal I don't know. There was like a special spot. It was also my first shiny that I ever got. I got it from the odd egg, um, so there's like that little extra bit. I, I think it goes in the S tier. The story was you know pretty solid. You know I also doing some of this as a kid. I have played crystal as an adult. And I liked also when they did the remake for the Game Boy Advance. Yeah, Game Boy. No, what am I saying? Game Boy Advance. What the hell? Um, <laughs> the DS, the 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 DS, the the three DS. Goddamn, Diamond, Diamond. Even though it just got its remake. Now I will only say because it's not on this list with the remakes of Diamond and Pearl. I'm gonna count the Diamond and Pearls also with their remakes just to make it a little bit stronger because when Diamond and Pearl came out it was the, when I I think there was like the y couple year gap where I just I don't know I just I was transitioning into other stuff so I didn't play Pokemon so I didn't get them and didn't play them until much later on but I played the remakes um the story is okay I, I didn't really care too much for the, the legendaries and all that so I put them in I put them in C tier, unfortunately. I'm gonna put Pearl in there now too. Uh, what else ones did I? I, I was gonna put White in there too. Is White two in on this? I don't. I don't see White two. But if I see White two, it's going up there. White two, there it is. Because it's all like in that same area. Uh, next up is Emerald version. I don't remember beating Emerald version. I remember like my friend had it and I borrowed it because I didn't want to buy all of them at the time or couldn't afford, definitely probably couldn't definitely not afford them. Um, so I would say Emerald version definitely was up there, but I would probably still put in B. I, I liked it. I just, I, I can't remember exactly much about the story or anything. And, all, uh, you know, obviously we're quasi on the front is, you know, definitely good. Um, I would definitely say the, I'll uh, go to the other ones afterwards because it I had different, feelings with ruby and sapphire oh god a burp um fire red version i never bought it when it came out but this is a game that i use for nuzlocking now and other you know pokemon stuff it you know it's it's a tier it doesn't have the same nostalgia as that but it's definitely the same game 
So it's like, it should be up there with the other ones, but these just hold in such a high regard. A tier is still like, this is, hey, amazing. You did amazing thing. These are just like, hey, I'm super genius type stuff, even though like they're, it's just the nostalgia that's got me there. Same thing with gold version. Gold version is going to go up there because I had a gold version. Um, and it just, it, it was a good game when it came out. And uh, Heart Gold, I played Heart Gold. I, I don't own a copy of Heart Gold still. I wish I did. I don't think I, I think I borrowed it. And I'm going to put it in A. It's like a remake and had other stuff that added to it. Definitely would make it go up there being higher. But the nostalgia, like this is just like A's are like, I'd go play again. S is just like, I'd play again and think about my good parts of my childhood. And, you know, that's just the difference. Uh, Leaf Green's also with the same thing with the, the Fire Red. The, you know, I've been, I'm having a Nuzlocke series right now. I'll put a link in the description, you know, type of thing. <laughs> hey, guys, go see it. <laughs> um, but, yeah, like, uh, I've been playing it. So it's like, you know, definitely I, I'm playing it and loving it and still enjoying it. Uh, but I, I, I don't hold it in regards of the other ones just because I didn't play, play it as a kid. Um Pokemon, let's go Eevee and Pikachu. I don't know if I should really separate these two. I think like they should go together. Like well, with a lot of these, it's just gonna kind of be like that. Um, they definitely were different. I you know I definitely feel like Shining hunting with them was way more fun. Um, you know seeing them in the open and stuff that was pretty awesome. Um, you know and seeing the Pokemon walking around and riding the Pokemon, they were definitely had some interesting mechanics, but they were just still a remake. But I would say they're B. Like, they were good. I, I still like them. A lot of people didn't, but I like them. And a lot of the stuff that they had that they haven't brought back in other games or, you know, are very rare. I, I think those were really cool things. Um, Pokemon Moon. So Pokemon Sun and Moon, um, you know, obviously got rid of the gym system. And I really didn't like that part of the game. It has my favorite starter, Rallet, in it. But it just, I don't know, it hit different. It hit different with that. Um, I put them in B tier, and I'm going to put Ultra Sun and Moon, because I did not really care that there was much di of a difference. Um, but yeah, they, they were definitely B tier. Like, I, I don't think I'd go back to playing them unless it was like some type of challenge, but I, I'd go see my boy Rallet. Omega Ruby. I'm going to put that also with this, because I should have done it earlier. Uh, it's kind of the same thing. You know, like, it was a remake, had some a lot of cool features, um, but it couldn't break the nostalgia. I remember Ruby and Sapphire putting them up right there, even just skipping a little bit of a head, because my god, they were just so much fun. I don't know, it's like, I, I went just having these in, like, the short time of life that were just, they were just amazing, and uh, I remember playing Ruby on the the Nintendo Advance, or Game Boy Advance, and uh, it was a red one, and I had the red Game Boy Advance from Target, so it was really cool. I just, I remember that aesthetic in my brain. And I, I would love to play it again. I, I definitely need to play those versions again. Because it's been a while. And I think I have it for 3DS. But I need to get it for like something that I can play on the computer. Uh, Platinum. I haven't... I don't think I beat Platinum. I'll be honest. I don't remember beating Platinum. I love Garantina on the front cover. So like obviously he's going to go on B. And I definitely think I should play Platinum. You know, it's you know just one of those things. Uh, Silver gotta go with gold i mean like they're the same uh i had them at the same time i love it um soul silver definitely had a lot of aspects that i liked i did play i owned soul silver so like i had a lot more of i guess like a, a higher connection but i still would put in a just because like i couldn't put it up there above it because it's just i don't know there's just something about the classics that you can't beat the remakes or like the add-ons and the add-ons are great, and they make the game better, but, like, that nostalgia can't be broken in my brain. That's the same thing why Yellow would go up there, because also, you could have Pikachu follow you around. That was dope as shit, and I loved it. I didn't play Yellow until, like, much later, um, because it was harder to find. And I don't even remember exactly when I got it, but I know I did play it also on the 3DS when the remake, too, and I, I still enjoyed it. Um, just like the other ones, it was just like having Pikachu out there and kind of feeling to Ash because I watched the shows. Uh, X and Y, I actually played X and Y a lot. I did a lot of random shit like mono locks, like before I even knew what Nuzlocking was, where I just pick one type and go through the whole entire game with it. 
and I was watching the anime at the same time, and it was just a good time, and I just really enjoyed it, even though it was such much later in life. I think I was past my 20s when I played it, and I enjoyed every second of it, and I, I've beaten it multiple times compared to some of these other games, and I still love it. And Sword and Shield, uh, Sword and Shield is hard for me to rank, to be honest, because I haven't beaten them, and I just, I, I don't know when I'll get back to them. I, it's the hard part, because like I want to play them, but I don't know. There's just some disconnect in my brain with wanting to play those two, so I put them in C tier. But I will change it at some point when I finish it, either if it goes up or down. But uh, yeah, just the story felt a little off i guess and my brain so i didn't quite like it but yeah this is my list these are my pokemon things i i honestly feel like uh any of these games i'd pick up and play again you know i would or play for the first you know like finish at some point if you just said hey you gotta play one of these games would you do it and i was like oh hell yeah i'll do it you know type of thing i uh, there's not a game that i just like would hate to play so, yeah, that's my list, and I'm going to do some other lists on other games and other stuff, and I hope you guys are enjoying these. I uh, I, I just ramble and hope that they're entertaining, and I, I, I hope you guys enjoy what you guys see. Bye, guys!